I'm a gamer. I have been for my whole life, for most of my life. And I game mostly on consoles, mostly on Xbox now, but I'm normally a PS4 person. This year, 2017, was rough for me because I was unemployed. <laughs> I didn't have money to buy any games. And then on top of that, there were just no good games out for me that I wanted to play like for the longest time. Then all of a sudden, sometime in September, bang, all these games started dropping. And I got a new job and had money to buy games. And so I wanted to talk about what I've been playing recently. The first game that I picked up was Cuphead. Cuphead, if you don't know, I'm sure you heard of it by now. This is way late. Uh, it's been out for a while, for at least a couple months now. Cuphead's this like really cool looking, grungy, colorful... <laughs> <laughs> like old school looking like timing based game like like Mario Brothers or something which is normally the kind of game that I don't really like the, that much at all like I suck at timing based games where you have to like pause for a second then do this and then pause for a second and then jump in and duck and then run and shoot and you know I, I suck at those kind of games But anyway, Cuphead's cool as hell. It was made by a small developer, as far as I know. It's just super satisfying to play. It's super addictive. It's just a whole lot of fun, it, but mostly it's it sounds awesome because of this original soundtrack, which they give you for free if you buy it at GameStop. I don't know if a lot of people know that, but they actually give you a little, what looks like a 45 record from back in the day. It comes with the game if you buy it in GameStop, which is awesome. Otherwise, you have to download it, and I believe it's only an Xbox thing. Here's the thing about Cuphead, though. Cuphead is hard as hell. <laughs> like, you will die, and then you will die some more, and then you will die some more, and then you will die some more. And then you'll die some more. And there are, are only two difficulty settings that I've seen. It's like regular and insane. And it, it's gonna frustrate the hell out of you, but it'll be the most satisfying frustration of your life. <laughs> I love the game. Super glad I bought it. 20 bucks, can't beat it. The next game I bought after that was Dirt 4. Dirt 4, I got it on sale. I think it had only been out for a little bit, but I got like the creator's edition package or something for like 30 bucks. My aunt works at a department store. She got me her discount on the game on top of the fact that she got it price matched to somewhere else. And yeah, like I paid like 30 bucks for it. Fantastic game. It's not like Forza level graphics or anything like that. What it is is it's, I think, four different categories of dirt, driving, racing, action type shit. So you have uh, like rally cars, which is my favorite. You have like um, trophy trucks, I think. You have um, super moto, and then you have like classic rally, which is like old school cars on rally tracks. This shit is super fun, super addictive. I play the shit out of it. I love it. I don't get tired of it. I end up having to turn it off just because I want to play some other stuff. That's another thing I was going to say is now all of a sudden I have all these games and this new job takes up so much of my time I never have time to game. <laughs> so it sucks, but still I'm having fun. Anyway, the rally part of this game is by far my favorite because it's so technical. Like you have to listen to the chick give you the instructions, just like a real rally car race. Um, what do they call those people? The uh, your, your side partner that races with you. They give you the instructions. Keep calm. 
And you have to learn that. You have to learn the stuff that she's telling you. She's giving you. She'll say like, left six, 200 over berm, blah, 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 blah. And you have to start getting your timing down and, and knowing how fast the stuff she's talking about. Okay. Awesome game, awesome game. I love it. Another game I picked up recently that I was super excited for was the new Call of Duty, World War II. I kind of fell off the Call of Duty games a while back when they've been all futuristic with it with all the wall running and colorful shit, double jumping and all that stuff. And I just got tired of the Call of Duty formula, honestly, like the, um, like the way that the um, maps all feel like you're on rails, like there's exact paths that you can go down and turn and they all feel super tight and so it's super predictable where people are going to pop up and I just always felt like you're just running the same like patterns like a football game or something, just hut hut go, boom, hut hut go, boom. Train for now pick up that banger and and I got sick of that so that's why I left the Call of Duty alone for a while about this new you one I'll say this. um some of the cinematic shit looks pretty good it's pretty bloody pretty hardcore it's pretty fun altogether I guess it's good enough it's nice to see them go back to just good gameplay without all the gimmicks and stuff two o'clock But, if I'm being honest, I keep comparing this game to Battlefield 1, which was just way better. <laughs> Battlefield 1 looked better, the, the, it looked way better. The campaign was just way more, it was shorter, but it was way more just like creative and quality. And the the gameplay itself was just way more satisfying. This Call of Duty shit with this new game, the World War II, is just the exact same thing as the old ones. Like I was saying, you're on rails. You basically you can go this way, this way, or this way, and which is the same with any game. But in these Call of Duty games, it just feels so <laughs> much more cramped. Like every board feels like you're so limited in, in what you can do. And you just end up doing like a lot of repetition or you learn the game really fast and get super good at knowing where people are going to pop up and where to hide and all this and that and it just gets unfun to me. So, ultimately, I'd rather be playing Wolfenstein, which is the, <laughs> the last game I want to talk about real quick. I'm going to hell. Oh, hold on, Dante. Well, uh, I have to cut most of his intestines out. Whatever it takes, Ted, please. Okay, Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, I think it's called. That game is, is dope. Um, I really love it. I will say that just like the first Wolfenstein, I had to turn the difficulty down a couple notches because this one has, like, eight different difficulties and I started playing on like the second from the highest which is what I usually do because like I said I'm a gamer I play games on hard if not veteran all the time for some reason Wolfenstein's kicked my ass don't bullshit me I saw him with her it's just that matter 
because he knows goddamn well not to spend time with some dirty little nigger girl. This one's no different. I felt like when you're aiming down the sights, the back of the gun blocks most of the screen, which really took some getting used to. That and the fact that when you aim, it kind of feels like your gun's on a swivel. But once you get used to it, it's just, I mean, rock and roll. You're just running through, <laughs> just gunning and running. And you get to dual wield two different guns, which is awesome. I mean, you get the, there's, there's Nazi like robots and, and just that giant mech suit and explosions. And it just, it's just awesome. <laughs> it's just awesome and from the beginning this game is not effing around like you watch your friend get her head cut off <laughs> You watch your dad beat the shit out of your mom and, and kill your dog Like and they're, they're dropping end bombs and it's just pure real unadulterated awesome fun And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm playing a lot of Wolfenstein. <laughs> and that's where I'm at. And there's more games I want to play. I want to check out Battlefront 2. I may or may not. I don't know. And that's it. I just wanted to give a brief overview of the fact that I finally had a chance to get back into gaming. I'm going to do some more, hopefully a lot more gaming videos here in the future. Thanks for checking me out. If you're never too old a game, I'll be 42, and I'm gonna continue doing this shit until I can't. because I love it. Stay tactical. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Until next time, peace.